Welcome to another video. As you can see, I successfully made it to Silver League, and I am currently top of the leaderboard. I doubt I'm going to keep this position, but as of now, it's kind of worked out. So I'm going to, in this video, going to go over what I did to get to this position my starting strategy slash just what I did in general in Silver League and kind of how I plan on going forward. So to start off, as everyone knows, the first event of the season is Conquest event. And it's basically taking as many cities as you can. It maxes out at 400. But because you have three days to complete it, I was kind of thinking I would just go to 250 cities taken before I actually start to raise my KP. Because once you start to raise your KP, the amount of cities around you that are easy to take become more limited. And so it's a lot harder to grow from there in terms of your actual city count. So I kind of just went around my island and took all level one cities. So as you can see, and if they're level like three or five, I'd also take them because if they're level five, it knocks it down to level three, level three lock, knocks it down to level one. Of course, the same for level two because the minimum you can go is level one. So I kind of just went around, oh, sorry, and knocked all my cities, or not knocked all the cities, but I attacked all the level one cities and of course, I started at the lowest KP players and then worked from there. And what I did initially, this stack of cities, the uh, few level 70s up here, then from here up in this area, and along with this area here, were all held by the top KP player. So to start my season, I moved my main here because there's a group of level one cities and I knew eventually I would gain the troop amount to start attacking his main cities. So before that happened, then I of course attacked level one cities and slowly kind of leveled maybe to level 40 attacking level one cities because you do find people that do try to defend their level one cities, which is what you want because it's the minimum defensive capabilities, and generally double experience, sometimes 1.5. So I took all the level one cities and uh, ones that I could find that were roughly level one. Then I moved up into this island and I took a grouping around this area and then up into here and there was kind of as you can see higher level cities in this general area so i had i believe this city and i put like 50k troops in there nothing crazy just to put a rough guard on it so that people wouldn't take it then as i worked this way then i put troops in the surrounding cities here to then attack this player later on once I did decide to gain KP. And I also, of course, put troops in the general area around where the top player was, just so I have different access points. So if he does organize his troops into one section, I can then boost my troops to the other side and attack from there, giving me a lower chance of being walled in general. Now, once I took all the level one cities that I wanted to, which was up to around 250, 260 total, then I started to acting higher players. So I started with players that were at the lower end of the KP. So it was around 40K, something like that, 40,000 KP. And then I worked into this guy because he was chilling at, I think, 50 or 60 K thousand KP at the time. Now, of course, he's higher than that. 
and I can attack him once I, my bubble drops. But I attacked a city, then I would boost to the other side and attack a city, then I'd boost to the other side and attack a city, and he wasn't able to wall me. He did put a few million troops in each one just as a light guard, but I decided it was worth just running through those because my stats were a bit higher than his. Then after attacking him there, I moved down to this guy, and he offered no resistance. Um, might have just decided smartly, like, do not defend, and I'll retake later. And that's often a strategy that kind of works. If you don't defend, they'll move their troops out, and then you can reclaim later. Of course, your cities will be four levels lower. But if you had cautious equipped and, you know, you're getting gold from other areas, then you can relevel your city yourself or maybe hope that they relevel them for you. So, took up to this area. Then I worked back down here and took the, I think he had maybe seven or eight level 69 cities. And so I took those and I didn't spend any gold throughout my conquest. So I had about 120 million saved up. And so I used those to upgrade the cities. Then I had a few people attack me. Um, one attack from this point to there with uh, 35 mil roughly. Then I had this guy that was, or not this guy, but the guy that was the main or the highest KP try to reclaim his cities uh, with, I believe somewhere around 30 mil again, and I walled those as well, so gaining another, you know, roughly 60 mil because my salvager is near 100%, and so I used those to level up my cities. Then I kind of just went into a dry spell where people stopped attacking me, and you kind of find this when you are at the highest KP on the map where people won't necessarily attack you as often sometimes. And so I then decided to just activate my bubble and wait for other people to climb higher to my level. And as you can see now, the highest person before was like 200k, but now you see people for in the mid 400s and 300s now. So there's a few more people on the map that I can attack once my bubble drops, if I decide to do so. And I do have troops positioned strategically at access points so here here and here i have a couple mil here i'm currently in cautious uh, gear here you can see just in case i'm not able to log in or i'm simply like asleep and i lose cities then at the very minimum i will regain the uh 50 of the gold that i put into them as well as whatever my salvager gives me towards that. Going forward, I believe I will be attacking this guy a lot. Maybe this guy. Um, I do expect to, when I, before I unbubble, I'll collect my recruiter, which has been building up. Sometimes recruiter doesn't actually show up uh, immediately. So instead, I uh, leave it, instead of collecting like when it shows up, then I will leave it to build up for a few hours. And then once I do need it, I'll just collect it then. And so I'll collect it, move my troops into there, possibly there, because it's a closer area to where they'll be attacking from. And then I will wait for an attack. Or I'll simply uh, place my main force in maybe two access points within this. So maybe here and here. And then just go to sleep. And I'll leave Cautious on. And what this does is it will leave, it will likely, I should say, likely leave these two areas to not be attacked. And sometimes they will be attacked, but if they are, then I have a 252 base guardian 
along with the 200%, um, 210% that the level 70 city gives itself. So I'm going to be running like 450 guard. So if they do attack with similar or slightly more troops, then it's worth it to just underwall, in my opinion. But what this really does for me is it gives me access points to when I do wake up in the morning, I can attack from three different locations. Of course, my main, and then the two places that I have troops located. And so it makes it so I can hop between these locations and limit the chance of someone walling me and also just give me more areas to attack from for my own flexibility, you know, in, in general. Uh, going forward beyond this in like the following days, I don't know if I have a set strategy yet. I will say I'm thinking about reducing my striker because I don't have temples, so it's harder to get my striker to the normal 300% that I normally run. And then, of course, I normally run 800% rusher as well. And then from there, I it doesn't matter. I, I'd put it maybe into rusher or guardian. But I'm thinking I will likely need to put points more into rusher because of course big vies which is one of the pe one of the other like content creator kind of down here he'll likely be faster than me i think i think his base rusher is over 600% and my base is just over 400 so i need to delegate like 40 points just for that in order to match his. Um, so I'm thinking I will get my rusher instead. I might just be running like 200% or 225 so that I can get my rusher up to a point where there's no one that can really outspeed me. In this or at least I'm close enough so that it doesn't matter but in terms of actual like strategy and expansion later on then I'm not sure that I have a exact method um, but I will be releasing more videos to come uh, this season that will outline what I have done from this point and what I maybe plan to do, as well as strategies and what other stuff. And of course, if you guys mention in comments anything that you like covered, I will try to go over that as well. So I'm going to end the video here, but I hope this gave you some insight. And of course, if it lacked anything that you would like covered, let me know. Otherwise, leave a like, comment. Subscribe, of course, join my Discord because that'll keep you updated with everything that I am doing, as well as giveaways, new content, and you can ask questions there and I will answer as soon as possible. Stuff like that, just a helpful place, um, some game tools and whatnot. So yeah, have a great day, great season. Hope the first day of season is going well and hope to see you soon.